This one might turn out great, might turn out horrible. It's a very, very shiny rock. It's metallic and silvery. Well, it's metallic and gray. That's the best way to say it. It's shiny gray. Which, I mean, yeah, it's like, could be silver, could not be, on, or silver colored, not actual silver. It is not silver. It's a chunk the size of my hand. I'd be selling it if it was silver. Yep, this was the good option. So I was going to say, it could either turn out terrible or great. This is great. I don't know what the actual old material is. It, they had a label on it. It came off. My grandfather and my uh, dad's other family would know, but... I'm not him, and I can't exactly. That is cool, though. Like you gotta admit, that is cool. Visually, I, I'm having to hold it up a little bit, so it's a little, it's so it's shaky, like because it's not perfectly flat. It's perfectly flat on the bottom, but the other side isn't, and there's no way to hold it up perfectly flat. So it's kind of, eesh. Okay, I can do that. It just looks like glass, but that's cool. I'm not doing anything, that's just how my microscope tends to lean to the left. But that is cool. Now, let's do the other side, where it's not as pattern y. <laughs> I don't know if there's a term for, you know, how much something is covered in patterns, but that's cool. I, mean, I know it won't have all of it in focus at the same time, but that's kind of to be expected. It's 3D. It's a rock. Well, it's not a rock. I think it's been purified so I don't think there's I think it's no longer considered a rock it came from a rock now it's like yeah some fancy name like a mineral or something <laughs> yeah anyway I don't know where that yellow is coming from but it's in oh I know where the yellow is coming from my microscope has a yellow plastic piece at the end okay let's flip it over not the microscope, the other thing. Oh, I do plan on looking at a microscope under uh, under the microscope. It's all meta. Actually, I have, two, I have three microscopes, but one of them's from, like, the 60s. It's totally going to work with computers. So, anyway, um, that's that's why I'm still on microscope 2 for the channel. Because the third one just doesn't work. It's it's not even really a good microscope. It, 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 it like, I like it. But not for its effectiveness. I mean, it's like solid. It's I think pretty sure it's like cast iron or something. Now that I lift it, and I kind of disagree. I don't know. But it's it's metal. And it's interesting. But yeah, overall, uh, does it have a lens in it, or is it just mirror? It's just mirror. Okay. Anyway, whoops. And now it's on the floor. Anyway, that ha this has been a very shiny, silvery rock. I'll call it a metallic rock. Get that, uh, what's the term? Clickbait? <laughs> I'm kidding. No, um, it's actually a metallic rock, so it's like, hmm, that's true. I'm not exaggerating. I'm going to need to be careful with this one because I don't have very a very high supply of it. But apparently, this is gold ore. Like, it's not, like, refined gold, but it's, like... <sighs> I'll explain it. What you get gold out of. Apparently, this, is, this isn't necessarily true. This is a rumor that I heard, or not a rumor. Maybe it's a rumor. A rumor slash myth slash fact slash, you know, I don't know what it is. But apparently, if you find quartz, you're also likely to find gold. You know, let me, uh, quickly, I got the top layer, I got the big chunks, but I want to get some of the small chunks, too, where, come on, slides, there we go, because, yeah, that was the top layer of it, I turned my fan away, so, is it really all that? Okay.
This is a little, a whole lot of l smaller chunks, but yeah. Apparently, this is what I got from a um an old microscope kit that I bought a while back. Not the same microscope I'm using. Would you stop moving, microscope? Unfortunately, it tends to lean to the left, so it's very hard to. But yeah, I got this from an old microscope kit that said it was gold ore. Which, it's been accurate for the rest of them, so I wouldn't be suspicious of that. I think it actually is. But yeah, apparently, if you find quartz and gold around the same area, it makes sense. But yeah. It's pretty cool. Yeah, I know it wouldn't be very valuable, but it's still interesting, you know? That's different. Yeah. So overall, it's, it looks like a whole bunch of crushed up crystals. Now, the question is, can I actually get... One more slide. There's a dust at the bottom I want to look at. There we go. Well, now all my gold ore has been removed from the tube. Where's the dust? There it is. So yeah, um, let me just get that in frame. Yeah, it's pretty interesting. You're not really seeing very much gold, considering, I mean, you know, it's not very, it's not a very common metal. But yeah, this has been uh, gold ore. Okay, this might be like 15 seconds for this section. I mean, the video won't be, because I put videos together until they're about 10 minutes, because apparently, this is not, you know, I'm not monetizing videos. This isn't because of money. Um, I actually can't. I have less than 10,000 views. But apparently, 10-minute videos, or roughly that area, are promoted more. And if so, then yes, I will. Oh, well, it's interesting. It's uh, sugar. Not salt this time. I have salt. I will look at salt. I mean, I might have already looked at salt, but salt. <laughs> but yeah, this is sugar. Kind of looks like salt. I mean, no, it's not salt, because I tasted it. It was nasty. It was nasty, because, uh, the thing I it was on was kind of, I didn't, yeah. I didn't use my brain for a second. I was like, oh, it's tasty without thinking, oh, wait, no, don't do that. The stuff near it's going to be, eh. Anyway, but yes, I did taste the sugary part of it, as well as what I actually licked that when it was on. I'm not gonna go into detail because uh, I don't. I just want to forget it. But yeah, sugar. Since it's pretty much impossible to see, I know it's only been a minute, but yeah, it's just, I'm gonna leave it here. You know what? I'll give it until a minute forty-five seconds. Is that a bug in my water? Just pull that out and determine if it's a bug or not. If it's a bug, I'm pouring this out. If it's not a bug, I'll make a judgment call. Where'd it go? I think there it is. Didn't feel like a bug, but I didn't quite get it out either. I can't find it now. You know what, screw it. If I drink a bug, I drink a bug. I'm not going to die. Oh, wait, it's been two, two minutes and 15 seconds. Anyway, sugar. <laughs> wait, no, 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 no. One more thing, one more thing, one more thing. Why I was messing around with the water in the first place. I'll try this. Will you move darn water? Okay. I don't have a dropper or anything. Let me just pour a small amount into the part of the microscope. Not my microscope, the, or not my normal microscope, the third one I had. Okay. Now that's cool. I'm just gonna let that sit there for a second. It's moving, it's cool. So what happens when you put sugar or pour water on sugar? 
That is cool. Yeah. Well, anyway, yeah, that's uh, sugar and water. Wait, <laughs> I have to make this quote. Men in black one, sugar. Give me sugar and water. <laughs>